and gentlemen, colleagues and friends in the room and joining us online. It is with great pleasure that I stand here with you today, celebrating the start of a great partnership with COICA, with the government of KP, government of Punjab, Ministry of Climate Change, and UNOPS. Together with our partners and all our stakeholders here today in the room with us and colleagues joining us online, together um, we are committed to work towards achieving SDG 6, clean water and sanitation on the healthcare system. This project, funded generously by COICA, will enable the government and authorities in KP and Punjab to accurately, quickly, efficiently, sustainably, and in a coordinated manner, test water in communities across the two provinces. And testing is the vital first step to identifying dirty water, then treating it, making it safe for people to use and drink. This project is part of a UNOPS wider wash program of interventions here in Pakistan, currently implemented in Sindh, KP and Punjab. And we continue to look for more donors to increase the scope, geographic reach and impact of the UNOPS wash program to save lives, to improve lives, a glass of water or a bottle of water or a jug of water in front of us today. Clean water, pure water, safe water. Let us remember the millions of people who are not so lucky. And let us take pride, real pride in this project and continue to work hard together in a true spirit of partnership to make this project a success and to make a huge positive impact on water quality and the quality of life for boys, girls, men and women in Pakistan. Thank you. Training program is a master trainer. So this one for the senior researcher of KPD and CPRWR and KPD in Punjab and KP provinces. So the actually really, uh, we want to invite the around 15 is a participant and then for 90 days and then the, they stay the uh, in Korea and then they uh, doing the lecture. They also they are doing a lot of experiments. sharing the project overview and progress and then we want to share the output and results with the audience. Uh, another one is this is a technical one. So it's like the baseline survey and then like so what kind of equipment we want to install it and then like a MIS uh, system monitoring the procurement and the operating of lab equipment. So this is also our role of the project. This is the
I would like to invite I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Anmaluk Anmarul Haktur, Superintendent Engineer of Public Health and Engineering Department, Punjab, to share his remarks on behalf of Mr. Umar Farooq, Additional Secretary Technical. He was supposed to be here. In almost all the districts of Punjab, by attributes to all the stakeholders in government as well as the private sector with minimum charges, but uh, being a second priority sector for public health engineering department, uh, the department cannot uh, give proper importance to these laboratories. That's why facility in laboratories are very limited, and training of staff is also of the same nature. The project, this project is very important for the upgradation of these laboratories, as the report of team if, uh, uh, as, as your team have all, of, almost visited all the uh, laboratories in uh, Punjab, and a comprehensive list of upgradation of these laboratories have been prepared by your staff. This, uh, this will help a lot in uh, improving the water testing quality services of the uh, laboratories. Moreover, I will, uh, I will also request the uh, donors to enhance their uh, uh, favor for the testing of the wastewater as well, because this is this is the the wastewater testing of wastewater is almost uh, not available. If it is only uh, in uh, one laboratory at Patuki, and that was also a donor don donated project, and was uh, <coughs> serving the people. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Hifsa, if you can sp sp speak some few words. Thank you. Thank you very much. And with this, we have so, uh, lots of various challenges, which includes uh, population growth, urbanization, and then uh, rapid um, deterioration of the water quality due to the unsafe disposal of the wastewater treatment. All of these factors actually affect the ability of the government to manage the water supplies and to provide the safe drinking water at the doorstep. <coughs> And as per our national water policy and our uh, obligations under the UN Sustainable Development Goal and Pakistan Water Vision, uh, basically the government of Pakistan and the state is responsible to provide the safe water to the, all of its citizens by 2030. But unfortunately, our countrywide monitoring program, which we are undertaking since 2001, um, and recently its monitoring trial in 2020-21 has shown that 39% of the population have access to the safe drinking water, while the remaining have uh, problems with the different types of uh, excessive contamination, which includes the microbial contamination and arsenic, fluoride, nitrate. So under the scenario of climate change, this water quality deterioration will further aggravate and will create a further burden on WASH. And uh, as per uh, one of the UN statistics, Pakistan needs about 4.3 trillion rupees by 2030 to improve WASH conditions in the country. So uh, we are already having the shortage of funds for WASH as we are just spending 1% of the GDP on this. Uh, this project will be a blessing to improve the PHED's facility as a, uh, to monitor its own supplies, whereas PCRWR is an, is an organization which, are, which is actually taking a volunteer surveillance of the water quality, or we can say it's a third party monitoring. So uh, in this project, uh, which uh, we are very thankful to COICA for, uh, COICA for bringing and sponsoring this project, uh, our monitoring arms across the country, uh, specifically for initially for the two uh, pro provinces would be improved and that will provide us a very close check on our uh, water supplies and the water quality. So um, PCRWR is a partner for trainings and for uh, different types of the uh, monitoring activities and other than the, our commitment for this project, we also extend our complete support to public health and all the stakeholders for uh, making this project successful and bringing the uh, Pakistan's water quality with an improved uh, access to the safe drinking water by 2030. Thank you very much. To UNOPS and COICA for inviting my department and my team to this in important activity. Uh, actually, the public health engineering department 
is, you know, mandated for provision of clean drinking water and sanitation facilities to the people of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and particularly, particularly to the people of uh, living in the uh, rural areas. My department was established back in 1974, but from 1974 till 2009, we had only one water testing lab. And that was too abandoned because the department was merged with another department. But, you know, later, uh, with the passage of time, during for 2014 and uh, 2015, some eight uh, water testing labs were established through an ADP schemes. Those labs are uh, working effectively, and my staff was telling me that they have so far tested more than 6,000, more than 15,000 water samples so far. And they are working, we have now eight labs, we are expecting eight more labs, mobile labs from our donor agency for which we are thankful. Uh, we will be having three more labs in the merge uh, district by the end of this year. That is probably in, uh, in south, in Kuram district and in Bajawad agency. We are working on enhancing our monitoring infrastructure uh, this project is extremely uh, important and timely because we need uh, to expand and further strengthen our monitoring of uh, uh, monitoring mechanism for uh, for keeping an eye on our uh, uh, water quality. Uh, Kaika is already trying their best to train our staff. They are providing us, inshallah, in coming three to four months, some more equipments for already for the n new labs which are being uh, established. <laughs> the public health department, so far, we have uh, developed 15,000 facilities, sorry, uh, more than 8,000 facilities. For those facilities, I think we need some more labs strategically placed in various parts of the province so as to ensure that people get clean and quality drinking water. I once again uh, say thank you to my to donor agencies, to Kaika, to UNOPS, my department, my staff will fully support the project. We will be readily available. Uh, all our energy, all, all our um, uh, equipments, all our staff will be at your disposal, and inshallah we will try our best to successfully implement this project in our promise. Thank you very much. Now I would like to request Mr. Irfan Tarek, Director General Environment and Climate Change from the Ministry of Climate Change for his remarks on the role of the ministry in this project and importance of an efficient water quality monitoring. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by thanking UNOPS for organizing this uh, workshop and uh, also thank COICA for supporting Government of Pakistan um, to achieve SDG target six this is an extremely useful uh, project in terms of uh, meeting the requirements of local people and uh, will have impact on the health and well-being of uh, many of our uh, people in Pakistan. So I would uh, greatly, uh, I, uh, from, on behalf of the Ministry of Climate Change, I would like to uh, greatly appreciate Kwaika's support for this project. Yes, um, it was a bit delayed because of uh, COVID, but now that uh, the, um, the project has come into full swing, I think we'll be able to achieve the targets set for ourselves for the coming years. I would also like to uh, take this opportunity to thank the 
uh, uh, Korean ambassador because His Excellency, uh, the ambassador, uh, in uh, interactions with him, I, I found him to be extremely welcoming and um, trying to, um, has a very um, uh, robust vision about environment and climate change issues. Um, we see a very fast growing relationship be between the government of Pakistan and the government of Korea. So I just wanted to thank uh, the, our Korean colleagues for this uh, uh, interaction. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you all know, um, and taking benefit of this opportunity, I just wanted to highlight the role of Ministry of Climate Change. Ministry of Climate Change has been assigned under the, under the rules of business 1973, which is the official um, means of indicating the um, uh, role to different uh, public sector institutions. The Ministry of Climate Change has been assigned the role of drinking water and sanitation. And uh, um, many of the uh, people would recall that we had this national climate change, uh, national Drink, uh, drinking water policy in 2009, and we also have the national environmental quality standards. Now that these standards have been uh, 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 adopted by the provinces, and the provinces have their provincial quality standards and their provincial policies, we have guidelines uh, to for the implementation of those provincial drinking water policies. Our role at the Ministry of Climate Change at the federal level is to coordinate and facilitate the provinces, uh, and particularly in this uh, uh, project, uh, I think this provides us a very good opportunity to effectively engage in a system where we can consult each other, take benefit of the experience from KP and Punjab and the other provinces, and come, uh, come up to address the issues related to drinking water. I, I also wanted to highlight that these environmental quality standards, uh, they have been in place for quite some time. And through this project, our main target is to see that the drinking water being supplied to the uh, people of, the, uh, of different provinces is of that particular quality. Because until we, reach, uh, until we reach that quality, uh, it will be very difficult to address some of the uh, issues related to health and ecosystems. So in this regard, we did, uh, really appreciate this project. And we also appreciate the role of PCRWR, the provincial governments. And was, as was highlighted in the previous presentation, uh, the project steering committee meeting, uh, which is chaired by the Ministry of Climate Change, we had a meeting about two months back, and now that the capacity building and other activities that are required to be coordinated, the ministry, in consultation with provinces, all provinces, would go for these uh, um, trainings and um, uh, awareness uh, workshops. And I can assure you that this activity will provide all provinces opportunities to take benefit. As was expressed uh, it, uh, previously, what Pakistan is um, uh, fastly moving towards water-stressed countries. And uh, the National Climate Change Policy, which has recently been approved by, by the Prime Minister's Committee on Climate Change, has indicated uh, recommendations to address this issue. I think we uh, must take um, uh, notice of those recommendations and try to implement them throughout the provinces. Uh, I also wanted to highlight the government of Pakistan has recently approved a national security policy. And one of the issues which uh, uh, is contained within that policy, um, which has direct bearing with climate change, is the climate change impact on water resources. So this is for all of us to realize that we must use water in a very, very efficient manner. This is a resource which cannot be um, wasted. Uh, all these recommendations of different policies pro 
through this project provide us an opportunity to turn the, to turn them into reality and this is where I, I, I assure all participants of the fullest support from uh, uh, um, the Ministry of Climate Change. Please allow me to highlight two projects since uh, uh, the ministry is, a, uh, is an institution at the federal level, our uh, mandate is to develop policies, programs, and the most prominent one, which I just wanted to highlight here, is the Clean Green Pakistan, which has all the indicators of, clean, uh, of uh, SDG 6 related to drinking water. We are trying to implement them in all across the provinces Initially, in the first phase, we did this in uh, KP and Punjab. Now there are 93 cities which are engaged in this uh, project, and now it is being um, uh, implemented all across Pakistan. Uh, the ministry is also planning to launch a project called Living River Initiative, which is also related to uh, water resources, because uh, uh, in this river, badly needs ecological restoration. So we are planning this project, and I invite you all to please join a virtual um, uh, side event, which is organized again, um, uh, in the backdrop uh, uh, of Asia Pacific Week on 30th of uh, this month at 2.30, which the ministry is uh, hosting. And this will be a virtual event, and uh, the links for this virtual event are available on the ministry's website. Um, I would also like to highlight that uh, this pro particular project, Koika Support, is for uh, Punjab and um, uh, KP Khaber Pakhtunkhwa province. However, uh, the, um, we have engaged with all the four provinces and regions. Uh, the first phase would provide uh, equipment, hard hardware to. The, uh, the to Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, but we intend to plan the second phase where we would facilitate equipment and other resources for the rest of the provinces. But um, uh, in the training and other aspects of this project, we will engage with um, uh, all the four provinces and the regions because this is something which is extremely important. Uh, Uh, lastly, um, I would again thank um, Koika and Junops for organizing this workshop, and the Ministry looks forward to further engagement with all its partners, PCRWR and the provincial governments. Thank you very much. Country Director, Korea International Cooperation Agency in Pakistan, for his valued remarks on the project. Please, sir. Uh, Mr. Irpan Tarek, the DG of MOCC, Minister of Climate Change, and Ms. Marcia, Country Manager of UNOPS, distinguished participants, uh, my colleagues and Korean experts, good afternoon, assalamu alaikum. It is a great honor for me to attend this project ceremony. I hope that this project will improve people's quality of life by improving water quality parameters and help in an achieving sustainable development goals. Water management is a big challenge both in quality and quantity in, in this country. This project is a timely, meaningful contribution to improving water management in Pakistan. Through this project, we will provide water quality testing equipment and a training to PhD, Public Health Engineering Department, Punjab and KPK provinces. In addition, consultation and technical suggestions on water-related policy and legislative reform will be also supported through this project. Korean government will continue to support addressing water issues for the development of Pakistan. COIC has already finished three water projects, two in Punjab and one in Islamabad. Currently, one water supply project is on the planning stage for Havelian Abu Tabad. In concluding my remarks, I'd like to give thanks to MOCC, 
EPA, PHED, Punjab and KPK, PCLWR, UNOX, and all concerned stakeholders for their support to this project. It's my sincere wish that the facilities provided under this project will be made the best use and improve and enrich the lives of people in the communities. Shukriya, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sukung Young, uh, for your encouraging words. And we would like to thank the government of Korea again uh, for their continued support to the government of Pakistan in the provision of safe drinking water as well as improving the access to water. In the end, I would like to, right. In the end, I would like uh, we would like to show you a video message from our hub director, Mr. Charles Callanan. Uh, he was supposed to be here. He originally planned to be here for the project ceremony, but due to unforeseen circumstances, uh, his uh, his arrival is delayed for a few days. So please play the video. Thank you. inputs today and for making this event a success. Now I would like to request you all to please assemble in front of the stage for the grow photo. The grow photo will be followed by the lunch. Thank you. जैसे कि आप जानते हैं कि ये जो पब्लिक हेल्थ इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट होते हैं चाहे ये पंजाब में है चाहे ये सिंध में है चाहे ये खैबर पख्तनख्वा में है इस डिपार्टमेंट का काम होता है लोगों को साफ पीने का पानी प्रोवाइड करना ठीक है जी अच्छा साफ पानी का मतलब ये है कि आप पानी को फिल्टर करें उसको क्लोरीनेट करें और फिर आवाम तक पहुँचाएँ ताकि उनके सेहत पर उसके अच्छे असर पड़ें जैसे आप जानते हैं कि जी पाकिस्तान में चूंकि वाटर का लेवल हर साल नीचे चला जाता है डिप्लीट होता जाता है तो अब पर्टिकुलरली खैबर पख्तनख्वा प्रावीण सरफेस वाटर की तरफ जा रहा है सरफेस वाटर को जब आप उठाते हैं तो उसको क्लीन करना बहुत ज़रूरी होता है तो ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है इसके ज़रिए हम जो वाटर क्वालिटी टेस्टिंग लेब जो सूबों में बने हैं उनके लिए हमें जनाब इक्विपमेंट्स भी मिलेंगे हमारे स्टाफ को ट्रेनिंग भी दी जाएगी और साथ साथ कोरियन गवर्नमेंट ने ये भी प्रॉमिस किया है कि कुछ मोबाइल लेब भी मिलेंगे ताकि ऑन स्पाइट स्पॉट जाकर वहाँ पे पानी उठाए उसका टेस्ट करे और उसी वक्त आपको बताएं कि पानी ड्रिंकेबल है या नहीं ठीक है जी थैंक यू वेरी मच uh, will enable the government of authorities in the two provinces and in Islamabad to test water and to make sure that it's safe for people to drink. Safe drinking water is incredibly important for the health, safety, well-being and quality of life for boys, girls, men and women in Pakistan. Thank you.